What is up guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on Dragon Ball Super. This episode was hard to watch simply because of Vegeta going down and having to hear uh, Bulma's original voice, Romi Tsuru's voice, one last time in the series. It was, it was just tough. Uh, I will say that, uh, firstly... Uh, the Vegeta uh, going out in a blaze of glory honestly I was very happy about Vegeta it, he really did prove himself throughout the whole tournament I mean we went and passed his limits and in this episode he did that once again I mean he took the beating from Jiren having no energy having no stamina and still just trying his best to go up against Jiren and still prove a point and even with a black eye, he was able to see how he was... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Even with a black eye, though, he really was, you know, just going at it. It didn't matter. He put his pride on the line. He did it for everyone that he loved and just went out in a blaze of glory. I think that he did the best thing that was try to kind of distract Jiren and just kind of win Goku some time to your recover because Goku had the strongest possibility of beating Jiren and Vegeta sacrificing himself really to just at least hold off for a little while I mean I thought that this would be like one good episode where Vegeta would go out all the way but no it was half an episode but it was it was still awesome to see you know we saw him remembering his promise with Kaba again and him trying to get stronger and wanting to fulfill the wish but he leaves it all to G Goku to now fulfill and I will say there was no Frieza again in this episode where is Frieza I mean we from previews for the next episode it says that he won't he's not there anymore but where is Frieza in reality I mean I'd like to know and if you guys watch the episode and hear, you know, Bulma's voice, it was very chilling, I will say. It was very, it was very sad for me, but it was like a reminder that even though she's no longer with us in the real world, Bulma as a character and as a person will always live on as in our hearts. She was just a wonderful person and, well, as far as we know she was a wonderful person i'm not trying to you know bring down her character or any of that but as as the voice actress for bulma she did a fantastic job and just hearing it one last time was really good and that's makes this episode very special i mean we've already gotten the new voice um i'm personally not a fan of uh, the new voice not that i'm criticizing her or at all but it's just it's just tough, you know? I mean, I know there's been other voice actors and actresses were being replaced. And, you know, and I know, for example, just to mention one, the voice at TN, the original voice passed away. And, you know, this is the new voice and he's been that for years now. So it, it's just one of those things where it's a change that even within the series happens. And it's unfortunate that her passing, you know, has come very early but enough of the sadness i don't really want this ep the review to just focus on that because the major focus is the return of it i'm sorry the return of ultra instinct goku and he really just kind of turns things around at first with jiren you know he's taking a beating but after receiving vegeta's energy to able to stand up and just awakening that thing that we all love and that is ultra instinct i mean it feels as though goku has definitely have a better control of it this time and to pretty much just punch jiren and you know dodge all of his attacks and just punch him one time in the guts just kind of get him going that's that just shows how much 
Goku has gotten stronger since the last time we've seen him. I mean, it has been... I want to say, what is it, episode 109, 110, and now we're all the way in episode 128, so it's been 18 episodes since that last time. It, it feels crazy that it's been that long, you know, it's been 18 weeks since we've gotten the major thing, but it, it's got, it's, it's getting serious, and for the next episode, for the preview, it looks like Goku's definitely mastered it, it we've seen, uh, there's been, you know, leaked images well not leaked but it's a, an image of goku having the silverish hair look and it's mastered you know it just i'm wondering how much stronger is goku going to be in this new form is he going to be surpassing jiren by a whole lot or is this going to be by a marginal amount but regardless it is something that i look forward to just to see not necessarily i'm not a big fan of the color i will say that but i am r looking forward to see you know how this new energy or this new form can match up against jiren and it looks like that episode is going to be pretty action-packed but guys that is it for me i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys did please like comment subscribe and if you're new to the channel i'd really appreciate if you guys subbed but as always stay safe and i will catch you Later.